In the mansion of the R-Men, Professor R, the man behind this super team, uses his supercomputer to look for super gifted young people around the world. Hmm, how interesting. I also have two cats. What a coincidence. Oh, Chip and Dale, how clever for such a young man. <laughs> yes. I just got your picture here. But it's hard to see your mutant attributes in this two by two inch photograph. Could you maybe take some more pictures from different angles? Oh my god, what is this I'm feeling? It's like a fire burning inside me! Calm down, Professor R. We can't afford another lawsuit. No, I'm feeling a force. A presence I've not felt since... since last week. <laughs> My god, Carol! You're back from the dead! Again! No, I didn't die this time. Actually, what happened is that I found out I was cloned many years ago, and in fact, this whole time, I was not me, but a clone. What? You were a clone? No, that's what I thought. But then I discovered that in fact this clone was not a clone, but an alien of a transmorpher race posing as me. A transmorpher alien? Except that it was all an illusion, because I actually had to make a pact with a demon after I was killed, which erased most of my life and completely changed my timeline. Demon? Erased? What do you mean? Only this all happened to Carol of Earth 46 and not to me. And when we were replaced in the last interplanetary saga, everything went back to normal as if nothing had ever happened. What the fuck? Wait, but when you made a pact with the devil and he erased part of your life, you were dead, right? Hmm, true. Right, I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I guess I really did die again. All right, that's it. I'm done. I told you that more than five resurrections in a week could only be a zombie attack! Aim at the brains, Amen!